Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our video lesson. Let's start. Open your copybooks and write down the date. Today is the 14th of May, Friday. Clil, history, famous explorers. Let's continue our lesson. You are going to learn about Mount Everest and the first people who climbed it. You are going to study new words. You are going to follow the link and do the test. On the top of the world. Let's watch this video. It's amazing, but very dangerous. Open your students' books at page 130. On the top of the world. Read and listen to the text. Track 2.53. Unit 9. CLIL. Exercise 1. On top of the world. Mount Everest in the Himalayas is every climber's dream. The 8,850-meter mountain is the highest place in the world and a very dangerous mountain. The weather changes all the time and it is often very windy and cold. In the early 20th century, other expeditions tried to climb Everest but failed and many people died there. Finally, on the 29th of May 1953, Edmund Hillary from New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay from Nepal became the first people to stand on the summit of Mount Everest. Edmund Hillary was born in Auckland in New Zealand. He wasn't a very sporty young person, but he liked climbing and he had a dream. Some day I'm going to climb Everest, he told a friend. He was serious, but nobody believed him. In those days, people didn't know if it was possible to climb higher than 8,000 metres because there isn't a lot of oxygen. When he was 33, Hillary joined a British expedition to climb Everest. At 6.30am on the 29th of May, Hillary and Norgay left their camp at 8,503 metres and started climbing. They both carried heavy oxygen bottles. They were lucky because the weather was good. Five hours later, at 11.30 a.m., they were on top of the world. They spent 15 minutes on the summit of Everest and Hillary took a photo of Norgay, but he didn't take a photo of himself. The news of their climb was in all the newspapers and the two men were heroes before they arrived home. There are some new words for you. Listen, repeat and write down them in your vocabulary copybooks. Climber, dangerous, summit, fail, possible, oxygen. 
It's time for your individual work. Follow the link and do the test. Пройдите по ссылке и выполните тест после чтения текста и изучения новых слов. In this test you will choose your name and surname. You will read this text again and then you will do the test. There are 20 questions for you. Assess your work during the lesson. Choose one phrase and write down it in your copybook. Thank you for attention, my dear students. Thank you for your work. The lesson is over. Goodbye.